Uh, so the, in this example, we're gonna consider submodel. So it's a normal example of car arriving at a wash car, and then the car will be processed into waxing, and then it will uh, it will move close the system. It will uh, leave the system. So um, so we have here the normal process of wash cars, and in the submodels we have the other process. In case I want to insert a submodel, so I will say object submodels add submodels and then if I click on it properties I define the number of input and define the number of output and description of the submodel I click inside and I will put here whatever I want saying I process I link it from here to there and from the output to here and then I close this submodels okay so if I say close submodels and then if I want to copy or duplicate the submodels I can use it again as the same unit or the same amount rather than doing it twice okay so this one is will be closed okay this is the one we have so if you run this program you can see the number of cars waiting to be washed and the number of cars waiting to be sub uh, waxed within the submodels and this model has not been edited added Okay, so I just need to de delete this. This will be close submodel. Okay, and we have to close this. And I run the program. And voila. It goes on very normally till it finishes waxing and then it leaves the system as it calls.